I'm very scared. Tomorrow, tonight, my face is on TV. They say there's one of them. The calm before the storm. West Bay residents say they're waiting for the reprisal shootings after an apparent hit on a 38-year-old gang leader during the week. I don't know what's going to happen after that. Are you chaos? He was also a gangster. He was one of the big gangsters. He was a fast gun. It nearly happens every day. We are gunshots here. It was here by the shop. Yeah, one, one of the shops also not too long ago. That guy there from the corner shop, he was shot also. Come the, the robbers, they put guns against our heads and tell us, hey, what gangs do you, what, by what gang you working for? They're calling for more police visibility in the area to deal with the gangs. One morning I took my daughter to school. I had to turn around just here on the corner because I, there was four guys jumping out of the car. And then this guy in the street said they're going to shoot. I just reached home and there the gunshots went off. I'm not safe. I'm scared also even walk around him. I'm scared. Yeah, because you can see, you can shoot it any time. Negotiations between the police, gangs and the community to bring calm to Westbury continue. This amid the ongoing territorial wars among gangs. The gang warfare has escalated into various other areas um, and currently it is, it is becoming worse. So, um, but we are busy right now talking and trying to negotiate uh, peaceful uh, resolutions to the entire situation that's happening as we are trying to negotiate with various gang leaders to understand what is the actual uh, grievances behind this. In El Dorado Park, no one is safe. They must deploy a lot of, pol of police. This, especially on this era, because a lot of people they come here to buy stuff so in the shop, right? So I think they, they must be always a van of police here. We don't want that. Bring the army in, let them do their job. You remember that time in the lockdown time? There was order. There was a, a visible of army. No, no crime. No, but because of army, everyone ran away. We need safety from the from the navy. Making an honest living has become increasingly hard for these residents. They don't know at what point they could be victims of crime. We worried in, in, in but for a long the time, thing man. is that you, you, you can't not try and survive yourself. Because, I mean, this is business for us. So, I mean, we, we can't be also hijacked and uh, hijacked and uh, kept, kept, kept captive in your own house. No, no. We worried about the children that's involved in all this. It's yeah. mostly youngsters in... Shame. Um, it's heartbreaking because it seems like there's no opportunities for them. them so yeah. the only route they're taking is a gangster route. Police remain on high alert. Nozintombi Mia, SABC News.